All right, so I finally got around to finishing my testing on this uh, 6-cell 18650 pack. You guys saw this on my Instagram a while back, and I tested the 4-cell version previously. I'll link that video down in the description. And I wanted to see how this 6-cell pack, which is made by iFlight, by the way, compared to the um, Outline 3300 milliamp hour 6S LiPo. So this is uh, LiPo versus lithium ion. And, well, let's just talk about the weight first, the weight difference. I flew on, obviously, the Camaro 7, which is uh, using the 6S motor, the 1300 uh, kV motor. And uh, this is the new 18650 pack. It's coming in at about 302 grams. And then the lithium ion battery at 3300 milliamp hours is coming in at 433 grams. So it's quite a bit heavier. Um, you know, you do get more energy density in a lithium ion pack over a um, lithium or lipo pack. So um, the way it flies is a little bit different. Um, what you can do with it is a little bit different than the, lip the lipo pack. So I will link in the description the video I uh, I talked about this guy here. I'm not going to really go into detail on this one because I've already done a whole video on this. Um, how long you can fly for, I believe it was about 20 minutes. You can go a little bit longer on this one uh, because it's lighter overall and it has a higher energy density. So from 4.2 volts down to... It's going gonna, it's gonna to give you some voltage sag. So while it's loaded, while it's actually in the air and there's a load on the battery pack towards the very end, you can get down to roughly 2.7, 2.6 volts before things get kind of sketchy. And at that point, you're going to probably want to land and not crash. Um, but the pack voltage after it um, comes back up, after it's landed, the, the pack voltage will come back up and at at resting voltage, it's around three volts. So basically you get about 1.2 volts of actual usable flight time out of this pack. And I was getting about 25 minutes on this one. Obviously we're just cruising around here. You know, if you're trying to do racing, uh, this is not the pack to go with. This is uh, for low amp draw applications. And if you try to do any kind of full throttle punch outs, it's very anemic, very weak compared to the lipo pack that one actually is a little bit more power even though it's overall weights heavier um, it just gives you more current output than this um, 18650 pack but if you're looking for more flight time I think this one is better because it is a little bit lighter now if you want even more flight time which I haven't tested I don't have this one it's actually the uh, 6s 2p this is a 6s1p pack so you can see here it says 6s1p so it's basically just six cells if you get the 6s2p you get basically two sets of six cells in parallel and you get 6,000 milliamp hours now obviously it's going to weigh twice as much so you're going to be adding another 300 grams uh, so it's not a one for one you don't get like the, it's not linear in terms of like you know you don't go from 25 minutes to 50 minutes probably going to be something like 40 minutes i'm thinking because of the extra weight because you do there's some losses there um but they do sell a 6s 2p which is obviously twice the length twice the weight um, but you're going to get more flight time and if you're really looking for a flight time get that one 6,000 milliamp hours you're going to have enough space here on the deck so i just flew it like this vertically but you can see here's plenty of space down here for another six cells. Tons, it's gonna weigh a ton more, uh, but it will fly, no problem. I'm pretty sure it will be, this thing can carry a lot of weight. These motors are huge. Um, so if you're looking for even way more flight time, then yeah, get the one that's the 6S 2P pack. And I, I now, again, I haven't tested it myself, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna give you the maximum flight time on this now, I, I already know people are going to be asking me down in the comments, well, what about the 21700 packs? Well, um, as far as I know, they're not available yet for purchase. I think the iFlight might be making them soon. Sure, you can make them yourself, but yeah, I'm not going to get into that because uh, whenever I do a DIY video on how to make anything battery 
related people tend to cause fires so yeah that's not safe uh, for most people but you know things like the people that already know how to do this stuff they don't need a video on how to do it because they are they can figure it out on their own but people that are in the position of not understanding what to do and then you explain to the people that don't understand what the dangers are how to build these kind of things they are usually the ones that end up getting in trouble. So it's kind of like if you need a video, then you really shouldn't be <laughs> making those packs, which is why I kind of, I'm not going to make that video because this is kind of pointless for those kind of people. Anyway, regarding the flight characteristics, again, because it's a low amp draw application, you're going to be just cruising around, no freestyle, of course, no acro, no racing, uh, but it's just fine because you're looking for just maximum flight time. You're going to be you know doing some uh, long range cruising, Cap capturing some cinematic footage from your GoPro, this will be fine for that. Now, um, regarding the props here, I know I'm going to get some questions about that. This is the new Dow Prop uh, Fold version 2, 7 inch. So I have the 7 inch, the 6 inch, and the 5 inch. I've had them for a while. They do actually have new blades and new hubs. So if you were wondering about if the, if the old blades work on the new hubs, uh, that, that the sizes are different, so they're not compatible. And the version ones are completely uh, discontinued anyway. There were some issues with the version one hubs exploding. I did have that on the five inch. I didn't have it on the seven inch because I wasn't really pushing the seven inch. And with seven inch, you can't really, you know, uh, do freestyle with them. So I wasn't really pushing the props that much. On the five inch, on when you're trying to do freestyle on, on the V1s, sometimes they would explode. So they redesigned the hubs on the V2s. And the blades are a little bit different from the V1s. They seem to be a little bit less aggressive in terms of the pitch. They, they, they just they seem a little bit more efficient. I think they went for a little bit more efficient profile on the on the prop blade on the V2. But um, yeah, overall, they're okay. And yeah, feel free to ask me questions down below if you have specific questions. But um, you know, for I think about these kind of folding props here, mostly for cruising around, it's gonna be great on a seven inch. On a uh, five inch, I think you're going to probably want to use it on something that's going to be like a more efficiency oriented and cruising around. I still don't really trust the five inch ones for like racing. If you're really going, if you're really going for performance, you're going to want to get a fixed blade, you know, the standard tri blade, uh, not the folding type. Um, this is going to be more for people that want the sort of the, the smaller footprint on their quad and aren't necessarily looking for the absolute top performance then yeah this prop's gonna be totally fun for you if you guys are wondering about that that's that's sort of my conclusion on that so far uh, but so far i haven't had any exploding hubs on any of them yet so we'll see okay so that's gonna do it for this one um yeah i probably showed you a bunch of um the the, 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 the long flight i think parts of it i just kind of sped it through because it's kind of um boring i'm just cruising around in circles trying to just maximize the flight time on this battery pack not all that interesting I, if you want to see a full 20 minute flight, I think I did one on this one. Again, that link, the video will be down in the description. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Talk to you guys in the next one.